Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Kelechi Eguzo and I'm bringing you this talk which is a summary of the topic on breast cancer management. These slides have been developed in partnership by uh, Dr. Nohu Tsumba from Amadebele University Hospital in Zaria, Nigeria and Professor Yinka Adisa from Abia State University Teaching Hospital. The objective of this talk and the entire and the entire content is that at the end of this talk, I want you to understand the approach of managing breast cancer from different scenarios, and then know what chemotherapy options are for each kind of patient, and how to follow up patients who are undergoing chemotherapy. So just to recap, women who have breast cancer in Nigeria often tend to be younger like 40 years or thereabouts that's about the average age and I've seen patients who are as young as 18 or even 25 our tumors are high grade meaning they're very aggressive they grow very fast and then most of them are estrogen receptor negative so they actually most of them are triple negative tumors but more importantly is that a lot of patients come with late and metastatic disease. So we hope at the end of this talk, you will be able through this course to diagnose breast cancer earlier by doing better examination, using the ultrasound better, and then to initiate management as soon as possible. That's what we want to achieve. Okay. So just to recap, in previous, uh, in module two, we had gone through stages of breast cancer. So this slide here and the other slides that follow in the handout talk about the stages of breast cancer. So for the purpose of this talk, we'll be using three scenarios, early breast cancer, late, bre late breast cancer, and metastatic breast cancer, that is stage four disease. So, in someone who has early disease, you know, I'm sure you understand what that means from the previous slide and the, and the previous discussion. The things you need to do prior to starting treatment is always history and physical exam. You know, remember to evaluate the other breast as well. I mean, if someone has something in the right breast, do not forget the, um, the axilla and the other breast, it's the left breast. If you have opportunity, do bilateral mammogram, both breasts. But try to do ultrasound. I'm sure from this course you have understood the importance of ultrasound and how you can you do that. Then it's important to do the pathology review to know what kind of tumor it is and cancel the patient, do basic blood work like full blood count and then know what the liver function is like, alcohol, alkaline phosphatase. And of course do chest x-ray to rule out any metastasis. That is the thing you do for early disease, okay, before you start any chemotherapy. And so, there are different treatment options for early disease. Some of them could be uh, what we call local regional treatments. So there could be ma ma mastectomy, which is surgical removal of the, of the tumor. And there are different options for mastectomy as well. But the at the core of treatment is radiation. So radiation is the use of... Uh, x-rays kind of thing to kill the cancer as much as possible and there's a there's a talk coming up uh, shortly about this so i will not spend much time on it but but this radiation is usually given after chemotherapy and so in in late disease that would be the next scenario what we could do would be to give chemotherapy as well and patients might also so we can give the chemotherapy before the surgery that's the thing in, in, in early disease you can do surgery first and do and then remove and then do chemotherapy but in late disease because the disease is already there the tumor is about five centimeters we at Nigerian Crystal Hospital especially tend to give chemotherapy first that is called neoadjuvant chemotherapy it reduces the size of the tumor and makes it more operable. And it also gives you an activity a chance to know if the person can actually go on chemotherapy later. 
in the sense that they, you know how they respond to chemotherapy. So that is that's the basic thing about managing late disease. Start with chemotherapy, then surgery, then radiation therapy. There are others there in, in the handout. You find lots of slides explaining how this works and giving you different suggestions on the agents you will use for chemotherapy. So do well to go through them as well. So for instance, if someone has late disease, which is what most of our patients or the patients you will see have, we could give chemotherapy using uh, doxorubicin and cyclophosphamide every every 21 days. I, I I tend to prefer the FAC chemotherapy regimen, which is uh, 5 fluorouracil doxorubicin, and uh, cyclophosphamide every 21 days. And there are lots, lots of options you can see in the handout. And you see, these options are designed following the NCCN guideline. So we're not just making these things up, but in the NCCN guideline, which, which, which we are promoting in this course, you will find that these options are well, that kind of clearly explained. And the, hand, the guideline is also included in part of the, the material that you, have, like, like, that you have access to through this course. So if someone has had uh, treatment for late disease, how do you follow them up? What do you do after chemotherapy? So we try to we encourage you to do his to get to see them one to four times every year for, uh, for history and physical exam. So basically, in the first three months, okay, in the first six months, I'll probably see them two times, and then that's after they've completed the chemotherapy and everything. So see them every three months, about two or three times, and then see them every six months, about two times, and then continue to see them yearly after that for five years and then after that is uh, annual screening but each time you see them you also try to find out has there been any change in their family history did anybody in their family develop breast cancer also try to educate them about complications of the treatments like lymphedema or their hair falling off from the chemotherapy it would be good to continue the mammography every 12 months so every year also try to do ultrasound to check the axilla if there's any lymph node metastasis or in the other breast, especially for people who are younger and might have dense breasts. Now, uh, you might ask, uh, what about chest x-ray? How often should I do that? The evidence does not suggest that you do chest x-ray routinely for people who, who do not have any metas, any symptoms. So when they've had chest x-ray at the beginning and then probably at the end of treatment, if there's no metastasis, don't worry about doing routine chest x-ray. The women need to be started on tamoxifen, which they should take every day for about five years. And remember to do gynecologic assessment every 12 months and tell them to, to, tell, to tell the women to tell their daughters about breast cancer so they can start screening their, their daughters earlier for breast cancer. Okay, let's move on from that. So the other point I need to, we need to make in this presentation is disease progression. You know, it is common to find that people get to death for breast cancer and they just get lost. You don't know what's happening with them. So we want to know when the disease comes back. And how, do, how can you tell that? If a patient is having new pain or getting uh, dysnic, like a uh, short of breath, or you find that the, the performance status, which you described earlier in a different presentation, is declining, or they have unexplained weight loss. This weight loss is very important because I've used it myself to diagnose disease progression. These are kind of common ways you can use to know when the disease is, is coming back and then you can act and refer and do whatever needs to be done for the sake of the patients. So it, just to reiterate how often this slide kind of tells you how often you do what investigation or what procedure. So, for instance, how often do you do symptom assessment? When you see the patient before they start treatment, that is baseline. If they're, if they're receiving chemotherapy, you do it before each cycle. And then do it every three months if they're receiving endocrine therapy like tamoxifen. And it's also important to do this to restage the disease and check the weight regularly and everything is kind of explained here. 
so that is the essence that is in a nutshell what this topic is about there's a lot of content on this in the slides or in the, on the online forum ask questions this is the bulk of what we needed to do to go from not knowing about chemotherapy to being more comfortable so remember the goal of, of therapy is this early disease where the tumor is about 2 cm or less we want to cure if it is metastatic disease like disease that has spread to the liver or lungs or chest we cannot cure we want to make the patients comfortable so we'll go to do with that there's also content here about psychological symptoms and all of that stuff just go through them and ask questions we'll see you in the discussion forum thank you